Good evening, here's our top story. In a speech Tuesday night, President Obama announced that he is sending an additional 30,000 troops into Afghanistan. Obama will send an additional 40,000 troops to another threatening location, Glenn Beck's house. Okay, people, we've got a live show happening, live show. What? How are we looking on camera, Brandon? Great. My cues, Melissa Oki. Entertainment news, other stuff, and news from around the world. Tell us what this is, me. This is Top Story Week. Five, four, three, two. Comcast will acquire a majority interest in NBC Universal from GE for $37 billion. Analysts believe that Comcast overpaid for NBC Universal by $37 billion. <laughs> The New Jersey Nets set an NBA record on Wednesday, becoming the first team in history to begin a season with 18 consecutive losses. As a result, the remainder of their games this season will be played against the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> a consumer watchdog group announced Saturday that one of this holiday's hottest toys, Zhu Zhu Robotic Hamsters, contains potentially toxic levels of tin, which will completely ruin Christmas for Richard Gere. <laughs> New research shows that stem cells from bone marrow can repair heart attack damage. As a result, every meal at KFC will include a free side of bone marrow. <laughs> Alec Baldwin told Men's Journal that he has lost interest in acting and considers his film career a failure. Baldwin later retracted his statements after admitting he got his film career confused with those of his brothers. <laughs> And here now with the entertainment news is the man who plans to quit acting in 2012, the star of 30 Rock and It's Complicated, Alec Baldwin. I hate the last note. <laughs> It's true, I, Alec Baldwin, going to quit acting. And to threaten me, Comcast and NBC have made me come to this shithole and do jokes for you in an internet entertainment news format. I've been drinking. <laughs> Here's your first one. Susan Boyle's debut CD is number one album in the country. It's already broken several records. She broke those records when she looked at them. <laughs> Chris Brown will be interviewed on an episode of 2020 in the near future. However, the show's vision will be much worse than 2020 after he beats it in the face. <laughs> Eva Longoria Parker told Prestige Magazine that God guided her in her acting career. Replied God. <laughs> okay, hold on. All right, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have to take the blame for this one? Well, what's the deal with all these casting directors, all these uh, acting coaches, all these other people? They get off scot-free, but I get the blame for this? No. Okay, I'll take the heat for the plague, I'll take the heat for Darfur, and even the Armenian Genocide. But this one? Sorry, desperate housewife. This is your problem. Free will! <laughs> <laughs> Thoughtless little pig. <laughs> and finally, Tyler Perry has donated $1 million to the NAACP. The organization will use the money to combat the negative portrayal of black people in the movies <laughs> of Tyler Perry. <laughs> German 
astronomers have discovered a star whose mass is 200 times that of the sun. Stop aiming that telescope at me, said Kirstie Alley. <laughs> <laughs> club in a Texas strip mall and its next door neighbor or church are having a dispute over noise from the church's nighttime services, commented one of the church's priests. You know, I think the owner of this comedy club really ought to leave us alone. <laughs> After all, you don't see me going down to where he works and knocking the altar boy's penis out of his mouth. <laughs> I may have told that one wrong. That was, I don't, okay. <laughs> Police in New Zealand are searching for thieves who stole $7,500 worth of bees from a beekeeper. Police plan on capturing the bee thieves by setting up an elaborate sting. <laughs> a couple in England has named their new daughter Kia because she was delivered in the back seat of a Kia. An another British couple named their daughter Hugo because she's ugly and nobody likes her. <laughs> Australian scientists are tackling climate change by breeding sheep that burp less, explained an Australian sheep farmer. The reason sheep burp is because we have to get them drunk before we have sex with them. And when we get them drunk, we always use Fosters. Fosters, Australian for sheep fucking. <laughs> According to a new study, people can actually hear with their skin. In particular, the skin on their ears. <laughs> New research shows that loneliness can actually spread like a virus, except for viruses that spread through sex. <laughs> a Japanese man has gotten married to his virtual girlfriend, a character in a Nintendo video game. The man will be allowed to cheat on his wife by pressing up, up, down, down, left, right, B, A, select, start. <laughs>